Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mantic Quick Tips. Um, in this one this is a kind of an extension from one of our last videos where it's a couple of people said about being able to use hot water not just to fix bent miniatures but to also repose miniatures. So in this one we are going to show you how to repose miniatures and change how they look so if you're doing a big unit of them you can make them look slightly different. Um, but before we do that, now that we've got our nice awesome sweet setup where you can see everything that's going on um, I'm just going to show you how to fix the bent candlestick on this one. So we're just going to hold it in. This time I am using a, a pair of clippers just so that I don't get dangerously close to the hot water like last time. And with that as you can see this one is now super bendy. So what we want to do is we want to try and get it as flat as we possibly can. And there we go. Now we have a straight candlestick. So it's nice and quick and easy. Um, just make sure you get the uh, hot water uh, hot enough but not boiling. Okay, and now we're going to show you how to repose miniatures. Okay, so all we're going to do is do the same as last time. And we're going to hold the piece that we want to bend into the hot water. You don't need to hold the whole model because otherwise it would just make the rest of the model bendy while we're trying to uh, bend his shield on. So now this, this is slightly thicker than the candlestick that we just did. Um, so you will have to hold it in longer because it won't heat through quite as quickly. See how bendy that is. There you go, as you can see, all we're going to do is bend the arm inwards. Now if you start to see white marks on here, put it back into the hot water and start uh, letting it heat through because if you're getting white marks that means you're bending the actual plastic itself rather than heating it and bending it. And they are stress marks and you don't want that because then it has a chance to snap. So as you can see by that, we have now reposed his arm. So you look similar to the one standing next to him. And what we can do is we can go one further as Rob has done on this one and actually bend the other arm as well. There we go, we slightly angled his axe carrying on, so he has a slightly different position on it, so that he looks completely different to the rest of them. And now for something bigger. Um, so this can be done on any of the hard plastic kits, so the only thing this won't work with is the sprued plastic. So the ones you get inside our little bag, um, there you, you'll be able to repose these just like this. Um, so this is what the regular one looks like. standing next to the awesome Martin's reposed one. And as you can see, he's, he's slightly positioned the arms differently, just to make him look slightly different. So he's moved this arm up and these arms across slightly. So let's have a go at repositioning these ones. So as I said, the thicker the material or the bigger the model gets, does tend to take a little bit longer. Um, I know Rob repositioned a Goliath and with that he had to leave it in hot water for about 10 minutes before it actually heated all the way through so he could bend the tentacles on it. So it all just depends how thick the model is as to how long you need to leave it in the water. And luckily you don't need to worry about things like the plastic melting because it's never going to get hot enough for that to happen. So I'm just bending that up slightly. And there we go, looks different already. And this will also help when you want to try and rank the units up as well because if you get a part that's touching 
you can just put it in some hot water, bend it slightly forward so they don't touch the model that's next to them. So you can get a nice big unit of these guys for Kings of War and they're all fit nicely in the unit and then you can make them look different as well. And that's it everyone, thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, uh, pop your comments down in the comments section below, let us know what you want us to do next and if you have any questions or anything like that, we'll do our best to answer it. Um, please like and subscribe because it helps uh, and we'll see you again in the next one.